Welcome to the DirecTV IP driver tutorial for iRule. This guide will walk you through the setup of your DirecTV receiver, as well as show you how to implement two IP drivers. You will also learn to use feedbacks and entrances, and finally, we'll show you how to set up the HTTP gateway and how the feedback appears inside the app. We'll start by opening DirecTV and setting up the IP. First, press the menu button on the DirecTV remote control. Now, choose the settings menu. This will take you to the settings menu of the receiver. Under settings, select network setup. Now, select advanced setup. Use the navigation buttons to set the static IP address from the DirecTV receiver. Go ahead and select connect now. This will make sure that the DirecTV receiver is properly connected to the internet. Now, select whole home menu. This will take you to the screen that will enable external control. Under Whole Home, select the External Devices menu. This will let you control your DirecTV from another device. The final step is to set the external access to Allow. This will let you control the DirecTV receiver right from iRule. From here, open the iRule Builder on your computer. We need to import both of our DirecTV IP devices, so go ahead and search Satellite. And then under Vendor, search DirecTV. Go ahead and search. And you'll notice that we have two IP driver devices. But if you look close, you'll see that one is channels only. That's because we give you access to every channel through a direct access code. This way, you don't have to create your favorite channel macros. All you have to do is drag one code onto the button and you're done. Bottom line, we're going to go ahead and import the two devices into this project. Now we're going to browse and import the DirecTV feedback so we can show your customer channel information from the DirecTV receiver. Browse for feedbacks the same way you browse for devices. Find the DirecTV feedback. And once you've found it, go ahead and import. Now we're ready to place the feedback and attach the device that will be giving us the feedback. The next step is to attach the feedback to a device so we can actually pull the information off the DirecTV receiver. First, click on the DirecTV HTTP feedback in the Actions window. Now, over in the Properties window, click on Device, and lastly, scroll down to click DirecTV Satellite. Now you can place the feedback into the project. As you can see under the feedback that you just imported, there are a few choices. Choose the ones that you want to show and drag them onto a page. We have one last step before our feedbacks are actually ready to use. For the DirecTV feedback to work, we'll need to query the DirecTV receiver. This means we need to ask a single question to get the status. So we use the get tuned query. Without this, the DirecTV receiver won't tell us anything at all. There are a few ways to do this. We can put the codes on a button, and when a customer hits the button, they will see what channel they're on. Or, an alternative, we can place the code in the entrance of the Watch TV panel. This will start asking the question whenever the customer is watching TV. First, open the DirecTV device codes and find the Get Tuned Query code. Then, right-click on the entrance and add entrance. Go ahead and drag Get Tuned Query onto the entrance. From here, we can edit our entrance to keep getting information for us. Now that we've created an entrance and assigned a code to that entrance, we need to change some properties so the query will keep repeating itself. If we didn't repeat the command, we'd only get information the first time that we entered the actual panel. To make those changes, go ahead and click the entrance in the panels window. Second, change the repeatable setting from no to yes. And last, select how often you want the code to be repeated. Quick side note, be careful when you're choosing your time because you'll want something around 15 seconds, otherwise it can make the receiver unresponsive. From here, let's go ahead and set up some of our favorites. First, open the DirecTV channels only, HTTP codes. And then, we're going to click and drag the codes that we want onto our favorites button. Once you've chosen your favorites, that's it. We can go ahead and sync and save.
Open the app on your device, then open the gateways. The DirecTV needs to be set up as an HTTP gateway, so let's go ahead and add one. Since we're going to be using two drivers to control the DirecTV receiver, we need to add both device drivers to the gateway. Now we'll be able to set up the gateway just like this. Be sure to use the IP address that you set up in the DirecTV receiver earlier in this guide. Open up, and here you can see an example of what a feedback looks like. Over on the favorites page, you can see the channels we set up. We can now easily test them and create a custom list to every DirecTV customer that we have. Remember, iRule has more instructions and support on all of our tutorials 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at iruleathome.com.